search at what is called a compound inequality. You know what a compound inequality looks like? No? Do you know what an inequality looks like? Do you know what an equality looks like? What is the word equality? E equal. Okay? Do you know what an equal looks like? <laughs> that is an equal. Cool, we're getting somewhere. Inequality signs look like this. That is a if I read from from this direction in into that direction, this side of that sign is smaller than that side of the sign. You see? So this would be a less than. Because as I read from from left to right, I see that I have a less than on the left hand side. So this is a less than. Less than. Meaning that if I were to change it to the other direction, now we see that side is bigger than this side. So this would be a greater than. That is if I'm reading from left to right. Obviously if I'm reading from right to left, like in some cultures, this would have been called a less than. Okay. Now, we can go ahead and understand then a certain few things. So, for example, if I now write that 2 and 4, what sign am I going to use in between them? The less than. The less than. Because we read from left to right. From left to right. 2 is less than. The smaller, the smaller side of that, that sign is less than 4. And that's if there was a 2. What if there was an under? In this case, x is under. I would just read that as x is less than 7. In other words, x, x can be any number less than 7. Not necessarily integers, any number. Okay, it can be 2, can be 4.5, it can even be 6,9. Any number that is less than 7. Okay? Now just go a little bit further and we also have signs that look like this. Or that. But those are two signs. In this case, they refer to less than or equal to. So if I have a value like y is greater than or equal to 9, y can take on any value bigger than 9. But it can also take the value 9. So if I were to draw this on a number line, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, If I were to draw this on a number line, I would see that y can be any number bigger than 9. So here's 9. There is all the numbers that are bigger than 9. Right here. All the numbers bigger than 9. But y can also include 9. When something includes <coughs> that value will put a solid dot there. A solid dot representing it including that number. Okay. So in other words, nine, y can be values like what? Nine. Nine. Or ten. Or fifteen. Or 
not just integers, not just whole numbers, it can be 9 comma 0, 1. Any value that's bigger than 9. Well, I can take that value. Okay. 